mean to me. All right. Basically, what it to me it boils down to um, the combination of the body, mind, and soul, body, mind, spirit, and the lacking of either or or any of those three, then it ceases to be martial arts to me. Okay. So <clears throat> martial arts, I guess. The body can consist of, you know, the physical training, just fitness training. And then mental and spiritual. So basically, somebody could be highly advanced body, mind, and soul, but then still not be considered a martial artist because he didn't really train in combat techniques. Alright, so I guess in the martial arts, part of it, a small part of it is the combat techniques. But that's just a small part of it. So you got fitness training which is part of the body, then you got combat techniques, which is part of the body, part of the mind uh, as well, and then you have um, the mental training, you know, which is, which we commonly get throughout school, and then you have the spiritual training, which is like a deep understanding of yourself and the world around you, so you need all three aspects to be, um, to me, a real martial artist, alright, so that to me is what real martial arts is. It's the combination of all three, and basically what it boils down to is just life, you know. And and martial arts to me it ends up becoming life. The only difference between like um, like a meditative sage and a martial artist to me is this: the martial artist is just well attuned his body to be more physically fit, and and basically turned his body into a weapon. All right, so that's the difference. All right, like you want to strive to combine all three, and then that to me is what martial arts is. If you just limit one and just say, all right, this person is just physically fit and he just trains to get fit, then that's not a martial artist. That's more of just like a like a fitness person, just a fitness coach or something. If you have somebody that's just highly spiritual, like a Jesus or somebody. He's not a martial artist, but he's like a, you know, like a sage, all right? Um, then if you have somebody that's just like highly intellectual, like a, like a professor, um, professor at school for like um, history or something, or like philosophy or something, or economics, whatever, highly intellectual, that's just, you know, he's just that, he's just a professor, he's not a martial artist. If you have somebody who just trains in martial, you know, combat techniques and that's it, nothing else, He's not a martial artist. He's more of like a sport fighter. He's more of a competition fighter. He's more co practicing combat sport, kind of like a wrestler or boxer or whatever. So they are not martial artists to me. Martial artist is when you combine all of it. You, compi you combine the intellectual, the mental. You combine that with the physical, the, the fitness training and the, and the technique training. And then you combine the spiritual, you know, the understanding of yourself and the world around you. You combine all those together, then it becomes a martial artist. That to me is martial arts. That's true martial arts. That's what martial arts means to me. How has martial arts helped helped you in life, or helped me in my life? Well, it helped me in many ways. I mean, I guess when I was younger. You know, teenager. Um, I had a problem with learning how to direct my energy, my my energies of anger and aggression. I had a problem with how knowing how to direct that energy. I practiced basketball as a young kid, but that didn't help me direct my ang my my energy my my energy of aggression in the right ways. It didn't it didn't um satisfy it. It was just a sport. It may have developed me to be a better athlete, but it didn't help me develop um, my spirit in any way, and it didn't help me direct that energy of aggression in any any um, healthy route. Um, when I started practicing martial arts, you know, at the age of seventeen, it um, it introduced me to. Um, a different way of expression of expressing myself. It introduced me to a different culture. It introduced me to, you know, um, I guess appreciating my own 
you know, Chinese culture. And that basically led me to begin to look more deeply within myself. When I started practicing the te techniques more and I started getting more into it and I really started to get serious about it, it led me to um, picking up books to read more on it. And then when I started to read, it led me to so many different things where it's unimaginable. I mean, before martial arts, I never even um, had the desire to read. I didn't care about reading. I never even knew library existed. I never even walked into a library before martial arts. And then when I started practicing martial arts, it gave me that, that passion, that desire to learn more. And then it got me to, to, to go to the library. It got me to go to the bookstore and pick up some books to, that were related to martial arts. And then I started to read the you know books on martial arts and Bruce Lee and all this other stuff. And then it led me to something even greater. It led me to see that um, this whole wealth of wisdom and knowledge is out there to learn all for free. And it just amazed me. So it opened up the doors to me about how much can be learned in life outside of just fighting and that ultimately ended up changing my life to a dramatic extent um it led me to the tao um it led me to the buddha it led me to j krishnamurti it led me to also it led me to basically eastern philosophy understanding the other side you know i understand the western side that's no problem because i live here but the eastern side the other side, I didn't know nothing about that until martial arts. When I started studying martial arts, and it led me to the eastern side, and I was able to combine the east with the west, then it really created something amazingly beautiful. And um, it led me towards enlightenment, enlightenment. It led me towards finding my inner wisdom. And ultimately, that is um, the greatest thing that could ever happen, you know, from the martial arts. It started from the martial arts, um, and it led me to that. So. It really changed my life to a dramatic extent where um, it's it changed it so much in a positive way where I, I, I just feel like it's my duty to kind of share with others what I've gained from martial arts and gained out of um, this path that it led me towards. It's It feels like it, I have to share this, this um, beauty that I discovered and I just feel that that's kind of what I'm doing all this for. This is why I'm putting all this time into doing this. Is because this is kind of like my payback or, or whatever. It's just something that I just naturally have inside to, to do. Because it just changed my life in so many positive ways. That I really feel that a lot of people can benefit from it as well. So, you know, that that's kind of what martial arts did for me. What sort of person does it take to be a good martial good to be good at martial arts? What sort of person? Well, what it takes is somebody that has natural kung fu, somebody that already has some type of discipline. Um, somebody say, like for example, I'm training somebody who used to pl you know plays the guitar. He played guitar for like twenty years, you know, most of his life. Someone like that, someone that has like this drive inside, like to better himself, like a dancer, somebody that, that dances for many years, or, or somebody that has been, like I'm training another person that's been weightlifting for 10 years straight, just weightlifting, 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 somebody that, would, like that, somebody that has that drive, that inner drive to like better themselves as a human being, first it takes that, so that is what I kind of call like discipline, so it takes that discipline, and then it takes a good heart, alright, a good person from within, like a good person, and that is kind of hard to tell. You can't just you can't just look at somebody and tell if they're a good person. You just can't. It's something that takes time to get to know the person to see if they they have a compassionate heart. If they do have a compassionate heart, then that's pretty much what it needs. That's all it takes. It takes that compassionate heart, that good that good heart from within, and and that discipline. And then with those two components, I could turn I could turn them into a great martial artist. That's what it takes. Um, if they lack the discipline, then they can't be a good martial artist. If they lack a good heart, 